Hi, I'm Brooke with TerraFlex. I'd like to show you a little TerraFlex addition that will inexpensively add an amazing performance and joy to your Jeep. The TerraFlex Quick Disconnect. The reason the quick disconnect is so incredibly awesome is because the ease of the install. To start with, we're going to disconnect the sway bar links from both ends of the sway bar. To do that, you're going to need an 18mm on the nut and a 19mm to hold it. The last bolt on the link is going to need an 18 millimeter on both ends. On the passenger side, it'll annoy you a little because you can't get the impact in there. If you're using the longer links on the Rubicon, you won't need the quick disconnect pin. Just use the original hardware and bolt the link up with the sleeve in. In this case, we will be using the quick disconnect pin. With the sleeve and the link, we won't be able to slide the link over the pin. We will need to remove the sleeve from the link before install. An easy way to get the sleeve out is to set the link on a socket that's large enough for the sleeve to slide into. Use a bolt or even another socket to push the sleeve out. With the sleeves removed, we can install the links. It's much easier to install the upper or sway bar link in first. This will allow us to pull the arm down for easier access. Install the link on the outside of the arm. Push the links up out of the way and install the quick disconnect on the inside of the axle bracket on both sides. You can use an 11 16 to hold the pin in place while tightening the 3 quarter inch lock nut. Orient the pin so the release pin can be easily removed. The kit includes another pin and bracket that will be used to park the sway bar link up out of the way while disconnected. Install the pin in the bracket. The flats on the pin will accept a 9 16 open end wrench. Install the provided jam nut with a 9 16 wrench. Install the bracket and pin assembly by removing the front 18 mm body mount nut. If your body mount nut has a permanent washer that binds against the new bracket, simply replace the nut with the original sway bar link stud nut. We will use the nut to install the bracket with the pin facing out. Before tightening, orient the park pin and bracket with the new sway bar link by doing a quick placement check. Now's a good time to tighten with the link in position. You're now ready to install the sway bar link. To help with removal and install, lubricate the link bushing and pin. If your sway bar seems misaligned and you're having trouble sliding the quick disconnect link on the axle pin, simply put the Jeep on level ground and it will line right up. This quick disconnect system will really enhance your off-road performance. 